With great pleasure, I, Sister Geraldine Swero, Sister Sujata, take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you on this joyous and graceful occasion, the Silver Jubilee of Darwar Province. Celebrating 25 years of amazing grace. Yes, an amazing grace which simply means God's love is actively displayed in us. Amazing grace that simply tells us God accompanies us on our journey. 25 years of amazing grace fills us with hope and strengthens us. And joyfully we have gathered here this evening to celebrate all the good works that has been done in our province through God's grace. Such a wonderful evening and what better way to accommodate and accentuate our feelings when this whole place is blended with pink and white, pink to express our passion and white our simplicity. It makes my heart swell with pride as I go down memory lane and dwell into the past history dating back to 1998 when the province of Darwad met with its inception. The uniqueness of our Darwad province is its interculturality, wherein our sisters hail from Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Kerala and Maharashtra. I'm sure today our first provincial superior, Sister Mary Ann Theodore, who is promoted to glory, is now looking over us and above all of us, saying, I am with you. Let us maintain a moment of silence to experience the spiritual bonding as she intercedes for us. Thank you, friends. On behalf of our Silver Jubilee Provincial, Sister Rosie Kutina, Sisters of the Province, I welcome each one of you to this Silver Jubilee celebration. A special welcome to all our special invitees and guests present here. Welcome you to our Silver Jubilee. Sit back, relax for an ecstatic experience this evening. How wonderful it is when God's people live in love and unity. This is the bonding among us displayed through the families around us. Our children have come together on this platform. Sit back, enjoy every move. Here they come.
behalf of the Diocese of Belgaum, on behalf of the Sisters of Charity of Darbar Province. Okay. Good evening, one and all. It is an opportunity to count God's blessings in jubilation. The presence of each one of you present here adds grandeur to our celebration and it gives me immense joy to extend all of you a very warm welcome along with our provincial superior sister Rosie Putina and every sister of our province. To solemnize today's celebration, we have amidst us His Eminence Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Archbishop of Bombay. We are graced indeed to have the gracious presence of Cardinal Gracious with us on this auspicious day. I request our provincial superior, Sister Rosie Kutina, to escort him to the dais and welcome our dear Cardinal with a florid sapling. of the time constraint on us today, I request Society Fernandez, our former provincial superior, to escort the dice, our dear bishops, Derek Fernandez, Henry de Sosa, Robert Miranda, and Francis Edao, and our sisters will accord a cordial welcome to each to the bottom flower plant. A warm welcome to our beloved Bishop of Belgaum, Right Reverend Derek Fernandez. A hearty welcome to our ever youthful Bishop of Bellary, Right Reverend Henry de Sosa. Gladly we welcome our dear zealous Apostle of Gulbarga, Right Reverend Robert Miranda. An affectionate welcome to the son and brother of Charity Sisters, Right Reverend Francis Eva, Bishop of Shimoga. We are indeed privileged to have with us two special dignitaries from our mother provinces. We extend a filial and a hearty welcome to Sister Esther Joseph, and Sister Irene Meneses. We have today four special invitees with us. Advocate Kael Patin, Mrs. Usha Joseph, Sri Shambhalinga, Sri Madhi Dadibi, as they escorted the dice, our sisters welcomed them with great delight. for you. He had been very busy, so he's just reaching.
please bear up with me. I have a few more names in my list, but due to space and time constraints, our sisters will offer these guests a floor sampling each in their respective places as a mark of welcome. We have with us Father Waldem Rodriguez, Provincial Minister of OFM Capuchins. Sister Sally de Sousa, Bethany Provincial Superior. Reverend Sister Greta Sanjeevani, Provincial Superior of UFS. Father Dennis Rodriguez, our loved parish priest. Father, Reverend Father Francis Fernandez SJ, Superior and Director of Vidya Niketan. Francis. Reverend Father Richard Almeida SVD, President of CRI Belgaum. We acknowledge the presence of two auditors with us. Mr. E. Ravi Kumar, Mr. K. Chenugotlu. They are our auditors. Once again, a warm and hearty welcome to all you, dear friends, guests and our neighbors. Have a wonderful and jubilant evening. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Sister Tracia, for the friendly and welcome to all our guests. Kindly take your seat along with our honorable dignitaries seated on the dais. <laughs> we now have the inauguration of our Jubilee by watering the saplings. With all our dignitaries seated on the dais, we shall now commence our program with a symbolic gesture marking the threefold significance. The Silver Jubilee of our province coincides with the International Year of Millets 2023. <coughs> we have a growing up millet plant Place before, in, place before us, reminding us of Darwad province that was brought to life as a transplanted sapling from the provinces of Secunderabad and Bangalore. Yes, just like millet provides sample food, staple food for millions of poor people in many regions of the world, that transplanted seedling was nurtured and it grew giving spiritual nourishment of God's redeeming and merciful love to the service of our sisters of charity in different fields. Through his encyclical, Laudato Si, Pope Francis recommended to protect our common home, the earth. In response to it, our province has set up some priorities to promote ecological consciousness. I request His Eminence, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, in whom we see the person of Pope Francis, Sister Esther Joseph, the former Provincial Superior of Secondabad Province, Sister Irene Menezes, the current Provincial of Manglo Province, and Sister Rosie Kutina, the Jubilee Provincial Superior of Darwad Province, to water the millet plant, symbolizing continued growth of our province. No life without water. Watering symbolically denotes nurturing, making the plants more fruitful. To nurture is to love, and we sisters of the province have been doing exactly that. Nurturing the lives of our brothers and sisters through our service of charity. As St. Paul rightly said, 
One does the planting, another waters, but God gives growth. May God's compassionate love keep growing in and through the sisters of the province of Darwar. Great people are always available. We are indeed fortunate to have Cardinal Oswald gracious to grace this occasion. Cardinal Oswald is known for his immense contribution to the Universal Church, especially as a respected confidante of Pope Francis on Council of Cardinals. He has served the Catholic Church in various other capacities, like he has been the President of the Conference of Catholic Bishops of India, President of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conferences, as consultor to the Pontifical Council for the interpretation of legislative texts and so on. During the pandemic period, many of our sisters participated in the online masses celebrated by our Cardinal and so he has become very familiar to many of our sisters and some of us were thrilled to hear that the autobiography of Cardinal Oswald Gracious called to serve was released on 30th August 2022 at the Maria Bambina Hall in Vatican City. <laughs> he is a good shepherd with a deep faith and undoubted hope. Cardinal is a spirit-filled person filled with a divine wisdom, a friendly shepherd to our sisters in Mumbai. Dear Cardinal, we are very much indebted to you for having blessed us with your enduring presence and inspiring homily during Mass. As a token of our love and gratitude, I call upon Sister Irene Fernandez and Sister Tracy of Paulus to honor our beloved Cardinal. Thank you, sisters Irene and Theresia. Dear Bishop, we value greatly your unreserved availability whenever we approach you. Your vibrant presence amidst us today enhances our joy. As a sign of our love and gratitude, I now request Sister Marian Vargis to honor Right Reverend Bishop Derek Fernandez. We are honored to have with us Right Reverend Bishop Henry de Souza, Bishop of Bellary Diocese. Before his Episcopal ordination, he was the Executive Secretary of the Catholic Bishops Conference of India, Commission for Social Communication, Chairman of Sandesha Foundation, Youth Commission and United Christian Forum. During his episcopacy, Bishop has started many mission centers and has brought new life into lay leadership in the Diocese of Bellary. He is highly respected for his integrity, devotion, organizing capacity and communication skills. His concern for the youth, children and the poor in particular is amazing. Dear Bishop, we are grateful to you for the pastoral care and guidance you extend to our sisters. We are indeed privileged to have you with us this evening. May I now request Sister Divya de Souza to felicitate Bishop Henry de Souza. We are indeed privileged to have a Mr. Right Reverend Bishop Robert Miranda, the first Bishop of Gulbarga Diocese, noted for Bidar Mission and rightly so a missionary bishop. 
He worked strenuously for spreading the good news to the remotest areas of his diocese with a dedicated team of priests and religious. His simplicity, humility, self-sacrifice, hard work and commitment for the cause of evangelization and social development of the poor and the marginalized are praiseworthy. Dear Bishop, your presence with us has brought much joy and gladness to all of us. May I now call upon Sister Savina Maskarenas to honor Bishop Robert Miranda. of the Diocese of Shomoga. He has served as Rector of St. Lucius College, Manlo, as Superior of Jesuit Mission in Bijapur and Provincial Superior of Karnataka Jesuit Province. Bishop Saravo has had a wide-ranging rich experience in the pastoral ministry and social apostolate by working among the Dalits and tribals in Anakal of Bangalore Archdiocese and Mundgod Mission of Karwar Diocese. He is a powerful speaker, friendly in nature. His love for the poor, capacity for hard work, interpersonal skills and administrative abilities are commendable. Dear Bishop, we are extremely happy to have you present with us and acknowledge with gratitude your contribution and association with the sisters of Darwad province Above all, we consider you as an affectionate brother, not only to your sister Lily, who is a member of our religious family, but to all of us. I kindly request Sister Philomena Menezes to felicitate Bishop Francis Saravo. Thank you, Sister Philomena. Sister Esther Trotter is a very familiar person as she was formed and bloomed into a sister of charity in the novitiate of Shanti Sadhan. Later, she assisted the novice mistress, Sister Erminia Viscardi, in the same novitiate. She received the major responsibility as Provincial Superior of Secunderabad Province in 1992 and in 1998 the province of Darwad was born from her hands. And so we are blessed to have our mother with us. She is a soft-spoken person, very humane, serene and sisterly in her approach. She is very caring, has great love for the poor, ever ready to help those in need. We join our hands and thank you, dear sister, for keeping still alive you are sisterly bond with our province. May the Lord be gracious to you and guide you on your onward journey. I kindly request Sister Gracie Joseph to do the honors to our dear Sister Esther Joseph. Babylon, they we sat and wept, remembering Zion. Likewise, some of us sat and wept, remembering Manglo province, when our mother province was divided and given birth to Dawat province 24 years ago. Nostalgic feelings came up when we heard that Sister Irene the present provincial superior of that province will be with us for the celebration which revived in us the fond memories of Sister Apolline Monis, the then provincial superior. Sister Iron Menezes, with her rich experience as a teacher, headmistress, superior and provincial secretary, now ably shoulders her responsibility as the provincial superior. She is intelligent, far-sighted, 
firm in her convictions, humble in nature, and as a true sister of charity, inspires and leads the sisters to grow as true daughters of the Redeemer. We thank you, dear Sister Irene, for all the formative help extended to our candidates during the initial stages of formation. We are happy, dear sister, for making it possible to be with us at this joyful location. Now, I request Sister Lena Lobo to felicitate Sister Irene Menezes. Thank you, Sister Lena. We are specially privileged to have Advocate Shri K. L. Patil, a great personality, yet very humble in his being. Briefly speaking, besides his academic and professional excellence in law, he has vast experience as an advocate. He is a legal advisor to a number of institutions, societies and companies, and I am glad to say that he has been our legal advisor since 2003. On several occasions, he has assisted us in clearing various court matters with regard to land litigations. He is available whenever we knock at his door. He is very honest, transparent and appreciates our work for the poor and the marginalized of the society. We are ever grateful to, you, to him for the wonderful service that he renders to us even now. We are indeed happy to have you, sir, with us on this occasion of the Silver Jubilee celebration. I call upon Sister Mary Karipa Paramil to honor him. Sister Mary K. We are delighted to have Mrs. Usha Joseph on this happy occasion. She has worked as District Institute of Education and Training Officer and DDPI in several districts, in particular at Bangalore and Darwad. She retired as a Director of Public Instruction, North Karnataka. She is a recipient of several awards from the Department of Public Instruction. Though she got retired, she continued to extend her service in different capacities. It was she who helped us in getting permission to start Shanti Sadhan High School in spite of many hurdles. She is a good friend to us and has addressed us several times on topics related to education. She has always stood for Christian values, was dedicated to her responsibilities and a person of integrity. A clerk working in the Education Commissioner's office once said that it was a golden era during her tenure. We are immensely happy to honor this golden personality on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee of our province. I request Sister Lydia Cardoza to felicitate Mrs. Usha Joseph. Thank you, Sister Lydia. Shanti Sadhana da Sutta Matalina Parisara Hasiragi Raraji Sita Melariko Kushian Utu Madu Tilave. How do E. Parisara, Hasirin in the Gangwalis and Lukaranavada, Halavaru Totagaru, Adaralu, Ipatmur Varshagalakala, Satata Shama Vesida, Sri Shambulingaravaru, E. Bendy Mouse of the Sandar Padali, Nama Jetelitare, Yuvaru, Sarada, Pramanika, Vishwasi, Hagu, Hairevanta Vetti, Yuvarali now Vichuantaha, Gunavendare. Kotta Kalasavano, Tamadea the Shaili Ali, Ati Achukatagi, Shutavagi, Madavantadu, Sri Shambalinga Ravaru, Obashama Jeevi, Hago Tumba, Javatari Uta, Totagaru, Udara Manasin in the Sakariswa, Preeti Avetti, 
ಅವರ ಈ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಚಿರಋಣಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತೇವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮನದಾಳದ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆಯನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಇವರ ಶ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಮೆಚ್ಚಿದ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾರಿಟಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಧಾರವಾಡ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯದ ಭಗಿನಿಯರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಈಗ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸಿಂತ ಸರಾವರ್ ಅವರು ಮುಂದೆ ಬಂದು ಶಂಬುಲಿಂಗ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಗೌರವಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಕೇಳಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇವೆ ಆ ಭಗವಂತನು ಸದಾ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕುಟುಂಬವನ್ನು ಹರಸಿ ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆಯೂ ನೀವು ಮಾಡುವ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಕೆಲಸವು ನೂರು ಮಡಿಯಷ್ಟು ಫಲಭರಿತವಾಗಲೆಂದು ಹಾರೈಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೃದಯ ಅಂತರಾಳದ ನಮನ ವಂದನೆ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಇಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರುವ ದಾದಿ ಮಾ ಲತ್ವಾಲೆ ಇವರು ಹತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತು ನೂರ ತೊಂಬತ್ತ್ ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಲೂರ್ದ್ ದವಾಖಾನೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ದರ್ಜಿಯಾಗಿ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ದವಾಖಾನೆಯ ವಿವಿಧ ವಿಭಾಗಗಳ ಅನುಕೂಲಕ್ಕೆ ತಕ್ಕಂತೆ ಅವಶ್ಯವಿರುವ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅಂದರೆ ವೈದ್ಯ ದಾದಿ ರೋಗಿಗಳು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸುವ ಮೇಲಂಗಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಲಿಯುತ್ತಿದ್ದರು ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ಉಡುಪನ್ನು ಅಚ್ಚುಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಹೊಲಿದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿರುವ ವಿಶೇಷತೆ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣತೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಸರಳ ಸೌಜನ್ಯ ದೀನ ಸ್ವಭಾವವುಳ್ಳವರಾಗಿದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ತಮ್ಮ ನರವಿನ ಹಸ್ತವನ್ನು ಚಾಚಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿನ್ಯಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಪರಿಣಿತರು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತರಲ್ಲಿ ಲೂತ್ ದವಾಖಾನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸಿದ್ಧಪಡಿಸಲು ದಿನಪ್ರತಿ ಅಂಬುಲೆನ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ಕರೆತಂದು ಸರಕಾರದ ಬೇಡಿಕೆಯಂತೆ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿನ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನು ಅವರು ಮಾಡಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಅವಶ್ಯವಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಲಿದು ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸುವ ಹಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರೇ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ರೋಗ ತುತ್ತಾಗಿ ಲಕ್ಕ ಹೊಡೆದ ಪರಿಣಾಮವಾಗಿ ದೈಹಿಕ ದುರ್ಬಲತೆಯಿಂದ ಬಳಲುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರಭು ಯೇಸು ಮತ್ತು ಮಾತೆ ಮರಿಯಮ್ಮನವರ ನವರಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶೇಷ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಳ್ಳವರಾಗಿದ್ದ ದಾದಿಮಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ರವರೊಡನೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸಲು ಮೊರೆಯಿಟ್ಟು ತಾನು ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಗುಣಮುಖಳಾಗಿ ಮರಳಿ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇರುವ ಭರವಸೆ ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷಿ ಇದ್ದು ಎದುರು ನೋಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ದಾದಿಮಾ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಸುದೀರ್ಘ ಕಾಲ ನೀವು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿದ ಅಮೋಘ ಸೇವೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತಾ ಭಾವದಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಸನ್ಮಾನಿಸಲು ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಮಲಾರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಕರೆ ನೀಡುತ್ತೇನೆ community of Maria Bambina in Kunkoli. Our sisters, staff and students enjoy many spiritual benefits. Father Valdim and his co-priors are ever ready to share their expertise. We appreciate their generous availability and their willingness to walk an extra mile. I call upon Sister Gracie Gomes to offer Father Valdim Rodriguez a token of our affection and gratitude. Thank you, Sister Gracie. Yes, though we embrace two different charisms, we are together in contributing towards the pastoral ministries of our parish. Being in the close vicinity, We enjoy the privilege of twin provincialites sharing in our joys, sorrows and caring for each other. Thank you dear sister Sally for the loving bond of relationship that exists between us. We are glad that you along with your sisters are with us today to share in our joy. I call upon sister Jacinta Devasi to offer a token of our sisterly love and affection. to Sister Sally de Sousa. Thank you, Sister Jacinta Devasi. I am grateful to you, dear sister, that you are with us today along with your sisters. I call upon Sister Fatima Tekshera to give a loud token to our dear sister Greta Sanjeevini. Thank 
Thank you, Sister Fatima. Father Dennis Rodriguez is our parish priest and next door neighbor. He is there for us as a shepherd and has a word of appreciation for all that we do for the parish community as in the case of all other parish priests where our sisters serve. In him we see and acknowledge the presence of all the parish priests present here and who are also joining us in the spirit on this joyful day. I invite Sister Goretti Varian to present his father Dennis Rodriguez a token of our gratitude and appreciation. spiritual facilitator among us. He is none other than Father Francis Fernandez, Superior and Director of Vidyani Ketan. In this, our mini Vatican ambience, the Jesuit community is a powerhouse that generates spiritual energy. From extra years, the Jesuits and we have maintained mutual collaboration. Father Francis and his community are always there for us to meet our spiritual and other needs whenever we approach them. We are indeed glad to have you with us. Now, I request Sister Gracie Thomas to offer a token of our love and gratitude to Father Francis Fernandez. Father Richard D. Almeida belongs to the SVD religious family. He is the Episcopal Vicar for Religious and is the President of CRI Belga. He accomplishes his role as the President very efficiently and he keeps the body of CRI active and united. Being a charity product, he has great affinity and appreciation towards us. You have enhanced our joy by your presence with us, dear Father, and we call upon Sister Alice Tauro to present Father Richard D. Almeida a token of our love and affection. May God bless you for the numerous hearts you have won by your patience and gentle approach. I call upon Sister Magdalene de Silva to honor our dear Sister Teresa Paul. the mastermind of today's Silver Jubilee celebration. It is she who, with her counsel, planned meticulously the various formative courses, retreats and seminars during this Jubilee year, which culminates today with a grand finale. In spite of her heavy responsibility, she has put in all the energies of her heart and mind Hold together the talents and resources of many sisters, trying tirelessly to look into every minute detail of the program to its perfection. She is ever active, dynamic, always on wheels to reach out to those in need. Her simplicity, depth of spirituality and keen interest in the well-being of each sister and the mission entrusted to every community is marvelous. We, the Sisters of Darward Province, owe our respect and gratitude to you, dear Sister Rosie, for what you are to each one of us and your joyful availability. Dear friends, 
Let us put our hands together and express our honor with a loud applause. I request Mr. Benny Rodriguez to felicitate Mr. Rosie Kotina. Thank you, one and all. Life is like a balloon. If you never let go, you will never know how high you can rise. Hope is like a balloon. It soars higher and higher, signifying beyond all limits we go. We seek God's blessings to set our minds on things above that we may be enabled to serve Him better and experience the true joy of this celebration. There they go, releasing the balloons. <laughs> Going down the memory lane, we have much to share of moments milestones and special persons who have been instrumental in carrying out our service. We try to pen down the good we were able to accomplish along with many mentors, collaborators, benefactors who trod the path of charity now reverberates in and through the pages of the souvenir. I owe my gratitude to all who have contributed to enrich this souvenir. A special note of mention of my team members, Sister Lucia Fernandez and Sister Anifa Gomes for their creative and wise contribution in compiling all the memories. We shall now release the souvenir. I request his Eminence, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, along with the other dignitaries on the days to do the honours. Back in time, 25 period. 
you are happy and blessed. In times and all seasons, been called to express tender mercy of God. He expressed it on the cross. Your Eminence, Cardinal Gracious, all my brother bishops, Silver Jubilee Provincial Superior Sister Rosie, all of you ex-provincials, dignitaries who were here in the stage and in the audience here, all of you dear fathers, sisters and my dear friends, hearty greetings to you on this day of the Silver Jubilee of Darwar province, along with the Easter greetings too. I do not know why they have chosen me as the first person to speak. And you can understand, I am little nervous. But then I have something nice to tell you. This is a day to thank God for the mighty works the Lord has done through our sisters in this province and other places as well. We had the beautiful homily of our dear Cardinal. I have only some practical experience to share with you. Gulbarga is a mission diocese and when it was created, many religious were very very helpful reaching out to me and they opened houses in this Gulbarga diocese which requires Christian presence in most of the places because there is hardly any Christian presence except in Bidar and other districts very less and in Bijapur in only one place we have Christian presence. But today, by the grace of God, we have tried to reach out to every every corner of every district and we are trying to reach out to more places with our presence there. And I want to tell you, first thing, I am grateful to God, along with many congregations, Sisters of Charity were very generous. They opened three communities in Bijapur where there was absolutely no Christian presence. Not even Christians were there. And they were the brave pioneers who have worked. They have worked in many other areas of our postulate. But then I can, rem I can place before you the good memories of three sisters who are no more. I appreciate the work of Sisters of Charity. And they are doing very well. 
most of them if not all of them and I have all good memories but these three sisters I want to narrate before you because they touched me they influenced my life too to begin with it was sister Dr. Immaculate who was then um, administrator or assistant director of Father Mullahs those days in 1984 and when late Bishop Basil asked her would you like to come to be there Bishop himself did not know what would be her role there she was a skin specialist and she came to leaving her job great position there came to be there settled down in Balki and those days when being a skin specialist when she went about she found leprosy is one disease that is spread so widely in that district as per the government survey it was about nine per thousand people which means every village had 20 to 30 patients and she began her work training a group of paramedical workers she would be though hefty she would sit behind in the behind seat and one of the workers paramedical workers would pedal and she would go to the villages she was engaged in her work for about four or five years almost and within that period she cleared off much of the leprosy nine per thousand came to point six per thousand and she had healed more than 1700 leprosy patients she was busy the whole day from morning 8 o'clock she goes to the dispensary visiting the villages and would become hardly get any time to eat her food take her food at noon and she would come back at 7 or 8 o'clock even taking care of 150 170 patients a day people with different ailments of course and she was giving almost free medicine on a nominal rate Another sister I want to say, another field, another charism was Sister Claudia. She was a missionary. I happened to be spending a few moments, almost one hour, though I was given just five to ten minutes. She made me sit for a long time. She was a missionary with great enthusiasm and she wanted to do something. She was first placed in Basava, Basavana Bhagavadi along with two sisters and they were chased away because they saw that these people have come there for conversion and from there they went away to a this little bit far away place called Kanakal and there she started work, working till long years she could work there until she was not able to work she was brought back and she was sick with some uh, cardiac problems but the way she spoke those last days to me that how to work for missions influenced me so much. She was full of missions even when she was dying. And the third charism I want to say is Sister Laura. She was an educationist as you all know. But when she got retired she came there and she became an HM of our one of the schools that was started in a very backward area she would be there from morning 8.30 till 4 o'clock and then come to the village and when we come back from the village it would be not before 11, 11.30 or 12 o'clock that is the spirit of uh, sisters of charity, charity that I have seen in my diocese the sisters all of you have done excellent work I am not in any way Belittling, belittling the good work done by all other congregations but sisters of charity have shown enormous sacrifice in my diocese and I'm very very grateful sisters provincials right from the beginning from the time of sister Morelia right up to this day now we have two provincials to serve our diocese they have been very generous in giving maximum number of personnel though the province does not have I'm very very grateful to you all the sister provincials who have been very very generous towards my diocese I thank the Lord for you 
and for this congregation, dear sisters of charity, while celebrating the Silver Jubilee, my hearty congratulations to all of you. And I'm sure in the days to come, taking the example of the great sisters who have created history in places wherever they went, you also would be doing the same in the days to come. My prayers are there with you. Once again, hearty congratulations. May God bless your congregation and make it ever more fruitful in the ministry. Missionary in every sense of the word. By yourself being great example and inspiration to all people you meet day after day. May God bless you all. Members of this province and my friends, at the very outset, I congratulate Sister Rosie and all the sisters of the Darwar province on this special occasion of Silver Jubilee. We thank God for you and we ask the Lord to continue to bless you. 25 years ago, the Sisters of Charity of Darwar province began a journey together. That journey was very much like the journey of the two disciples to Emmaus. During these 25 years, there have been many moments of consolation and a sense of achievement. There have been also many challenges and trials. Through it all, one thing the sisters have never lost sight of, namely their conviction of having been accompanied by the risen Lord every step of their way. He has been with them in moments of joy and sadness, in moments of plenty and want, in moments of great achievements and deep disappointments, in moments of brilliant light and abysmal darkness. He has been with them sharing all their dreams and desires, guiding all their plans and projects, supporting all their endeavors and enterprises. In fact, these 25 years have been a long and glorious story of closeness, companionship, con conversation, communion and collaboration with the Lord. The sisters, like the disciples of Emmaus, have been constantly saying, Stay with us, Lord. And the Lord has always stayed with them. In this, it is in this that we celebrate today the unfailing presence and power of the risen Lord during these past 25 years and a hymn of joy and praise and thanksgiving wells up from the deep within the hearts of these sisters reaching a crescendo of a single joyful melody rising up into the marvelous symphony like Mary's Magnificat. This is as it should be. This is what happened to the two disciples when the Lord sat at table with them and broke bread with them. Their eyes were opened and they recognized Him. And they were filled with an inexpressible joy which they shared with everyone around. We joined the sisters in their joyful hymn and thanksgiving to the Lord for what he has accomplished in and through the sisters of Darwar province during these eventful 25 years. We Jesuits have had the proud privilege of being the neighbors of the sisters of Shanti Sadan, collaborators with them in our missions and recipients of their tender, loving care in their clinics and hospitals. We know their exemplary lives, their deep faith, their great devotion, their sacrificial service, their joyful living, and above all, their unfailing generosity. As Bishop, I have been a grateful beneficiary of the closest possible collaboration in my administration from the Sisters of Charity of Mangalo province. Therefore, this celebration is, is indeed a personal celebration for me 
because I really feel as if I am a member of the SCCG family. Therefore, let me conclude by wishing the sisters of Darwar province God's continued accompaniment as they journey together towards an even more glorious tomorrow, blazing a trail of undiminished apostolic zeal and unceasing service to the poor for all that has been thanks for all that shall be yes thank you My dear Cardinal Gracious, my Chairman, my Secretary General, my President and my Consecrator in Episcopacy. Dear Bishop Derek, Bishop Francis, Bishop Robert Miranda, Sister Rosie Kutina and the Sisters of the Darwad Province, dear Brother, Priests, Sisters, dignitaries and friends. Psalmist in Psalm 115 declares, Not to us, Lord, not to us, but unto thy name be glory. And that's exactly what we are celebrating this evening. The fidelity of God, his glory and his power manifested through the hands of these good sisters of the Darwad province. Some years ago, not many years ago, in Bellari city, one family belonging to the neighborhood religion called me for the blessing of their new house. And they called me in the afternoon, at noon. I went there with a priest. It was a large house with not less than seven, eight bedrooms. They took me around the house. Every room, in every room, there was homa and puja taking place. At the end of it, they asked me to bless and to pray. I read from the Holy Bible. I gave a short message. Then I prayed. At the end of it, the poor, uh, the leader of the person who was conducting the homa came forward and asked, told, asked me, Bishop, can I say a few words? Of course, please come. He came forward and he told me, Bishop, some years ago, while I was traveling by train, by car, my car crashed into a tree. I was all broken and rushed to the nearest hospital, Lourdes Hospital. The sisters took care of me. They bandaged me. I had to go through many surgeries. And that was the time of your of fasting and prayer. I felt in my body as if I was nailed to the cross like Jesus. It is only the care and loving care of the sisters who healed my brokenness. They gave me a new life. And today I want to declare to this audience, he said, I do this profession for my stomach, for my belly. But in my heart, Jesus is enthroned. He declared, it's only because of the good, devoted, dedicated work of the sisters. I, am a, I can be a witness to this in many, uh, many occasions. There is not, we are not lauding merely the big quality uh, institutions that they are running. Essentially, the work among the poor, the needy, the Dalits in the remotest villages. 
Sister Olympia, one among you of yours in the boarding in Kautal, where there were not less than 130 boarding girls. She was there working for them 24 hours, morning till evening, evening to morning. She would keep them clean, tidy, orderly. If they are sick, she would attend to them. Elderly sister, she loved them more than a mother would love the children. Incredible, but such was the devotion and dedication. And that too in many of the villages. They have promoted the proclamation of the good news, promoted, provided health care, given quality education, and above all, they have loved people, and people have loved them. That I have noticed always. And they have been, as the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. There is more joy in giving than in receiving. Acts 20, 35. And Paul in Corinthians, so well he says, they have been givers, they have been providers, they have been supporters. We immensely congratulate them. We appreciate their dedicated, devoted service, more especially for the poor and those that live in indignity. For women who have been destitute, who have been distressed, who have been depressed, tremendous commitment. We appreciate this. What can I say to them? I only suggested to Cardinal Gracious, you must come for the Golden Jubilee and I would also like to join myself. Let's remember this. Cardinal Gracious, uh, appreciating all that they have done. I want to sum up in the words of uh, the Psalmist, Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Those who do not keep company of the evil persons, those who do not go after evil deeds, do not go the evil way, but meditate on the word of God, will be like trees planted on the river, banks of a river, flowing river. They will bear fruits and flowers abundantly according to season. May this congregation and above all this uh, province prosper. Do better and better for the glory of God. Wish you all, all the best. Congratulations. Your Eminence Cardinal Gracious, your Reverend Bishops, Mr. Rosie, all the sisters, fathers, brothers, and all those who have gathered here. The other bishop spoke, but I am told that I have to speak only for two or three minutes and with a warning. If you open your mouth, you don't close. <laughs> Why not? All these days I closed and today also I will close. <laughs> I would like to tell you only four things to make it short. And first of all, I would like to say there was a reaction from Sister Teresa saying that she was going to speak on behalf of the congregational sisters because I said something in the beginning. I would like to repeat. I am going to speak on my behalf, on behalf of my priests, my faithful and all the religious. You are included in that. <laughs> the second one, I would like to agree with all that was said by the three bishops. Bishop Robert, you are fully right. Bishop Francis, you also are right. Bishop Henry, you are also right, and uh, your eminence, I'm sure you also will be right. <laughs> I would like to tell you that I would agree with all that they said, including the documentary that was shown. And as I was sitting and watching and listening to the bishops, only one thought came to my mind. All this reflects the four points about the religious which the Vatican II speaks of. That they imitate Christ praying, that they imitate Christ proclaiming the word of God, kingdom of God, 
they imitate Christ going about doing good for the people of God and finally they imitate Christ in dialogue with the people of this world and I think all that was very much depicted in today's documentary as well as the experiences shared by the bishops I have my own experiences I was known as the nephew of the congregation because my auntie was uh, in the novitiate I think and many of the sisters were had passed through her and learned English also and that's why they speak better English than me <laughs> she was very good and first day that I came to Dharwar, my first appointment was to Dharwar. The first place for the Joe Condillac asked me to visit was the Lourdes Hospital. And there were sisters who have known me ever since, especially the great missionary sister Leonarda, whom we cannot forget. I think she was an architect and the builder of all that existed until she went to the law. The, the congregation through their hospitals through their educational institutions of course these educational institutions came after the forming of the new province 25 years ago and it's going strong very strong I would like to tell you on the day the announcement came of the forming or the formation of the new province, I was in the Lourdes Hospital along with Bishop Bernard and the news came and the first reaction was, oh my God, what is going to happen to my hospital? You know who it is. And I can tell you, nothing happened. It grew and became more and more strong. I would like to record here the service rendered by the sisters to the poor and the downtrodden and emphatically I would say greatest of the service was rendered by them during the COVID-19 time bravery and the danger to their own lives and finally all of you said especially I think Bishop Henry said invited Cardinal for the Golden Jubilee I'm not going to invite anyone I'm going to tell you I'm going to be there for the 50th the Golden Jubilee the Diamond Jubilee the 75 years the centenary maybe 125 and 150 I don't know whether you will be there or not but I intend to be there if not here Thank you. Company of the Chicago, it's a Korean Rajabas. 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 Company of the Chicago, it's a Korean
see the beauty of the flowers, the arrangement, the backdrop, and uh, there's a certain amount of class in the whole program. Hearty congratulations to all those who organize it very well. Really, really deeply appreciate it. I, I think the many program which is really high class. Uh, we've heard all the bishops, what the bishops have said. Uh, uh, bishop Robert, Bishop Henry, then Bishop Francis, and Bishop uh, Derek. As Derek said, we are all right. <laughs> and I, I hope I'm right also. <laughs> the, the only thing I, I want to point out that uh, you could sense while they said uh, different things, it was not boring, it was not a boring program, not boring, and yet you could sense a deep uh, appreciation, uh, affection, and uh, a certain amount of uh, really gratitude that you could see, which came from the heart. For me, it was not a speech prepared to say it for an occasion, you could sense the sentiment of the heart. And uh, I agree with you, Henry, I agree with you, Robert, I agree with you, Derek. Exactly, I feel the same too. The sisters, uh, I, I, they are in my diocese also, archdiocese. And uh, uh, I just want to mention two or three things I've observed. Uh, the sisters, I, uh, the, they have got you with the Sharon there, a hostel for working girls, and a neighboring very close again, a community center. and. Uh, one thing very, very, I mean, I, I have to visit many convents. One thing outstanding in this convent, in the sisters, I uh, want to tell you, Sister uh, Irene is there now sitting with the provincial, the uh, certain amount of joy in the community, I could sense, I saw more than in other places. Uh, I could see in the joy, the happiness, uh, just I think, keep it up. I, I still remember. I would go over there sometimes, Sister Ernestina, who's now on top, she would wear a mask and give, sing songs and uh, put a play and all those things. And that was the sense of great joy and community life. Congratulations, sisters. Uh, then I, I, they have got a, I was saying, working girl hostel. I, I noticed again competence in the sisters. They knew exactly uh, how to relate to these girls. They, they are felt need in Bombay because a lot of people come for work. Uh, girls wanted uh, accommodation. Parents felt secure with their sisters. And they were not too overbearing. They were friendly, able to keep discipline with affection. Again, uh, I think they were able to hit the right note. Congratulations for that too. And uh, uh, the last thing I want to say is they're real concerned for to work with the, with the people with the priests, with the lay people, something what Pope Francis is telling about synodality. You could sense that already in your community center, which we have in Berlin. Sisters, thank you very much. Keep it up. And now we go over to the bridge. Thank you so much. God bless. Your Eminence, Oswald, Cardinal Gracious, all our dear bishops, provincials, fathers, sisters, all those who have come from near and far, with great affection and appreciation to every one of you present here and some of, our, some of you are already moving, I accord my cordial jubilee greetings. With mixed feelings of immense joy and gratitude, I thank God for making me part of these silver years of the history of the province of Darwad. I thank God for make sorry, uh, truly it's a history full of mystery. The two provinces of Secunderabad and uh, the, uh, Mangalore gave life to the province of Darwad. Within a short time, our provincial, Sister Marianne, the mother who nurtured the pro infant province was called by the Lord to the heavenly abode to assist it from above. As the scripture says, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it yields a mighty harvest. How true it is. Having given her life, the Sumerian disappeared from the scene, but the province slowly grew in number, age, and in compassionate service to the poor and the needy. Under the able leadership of our dear sister provincials, Sister Irene Fernandez, Sister Teresa Paulus, the past and the present counselors, the superiors, and the sisters of the province. History has both high and low. But I go to the last point. Thanks to everyone gathered here and all those united in love and prayer. The very presence of so many bishops along with his 
along with his eminence as well cardinal gracious and the spiritual presence of his eminence philip neri cardinal ferrao of goa and others have strengthened in us the zeal to work in communion all the more for the church please continue to pray for us that we may be open to the spirit of god inviting us to the church to walk together the journey in synodality opening our hearts to every human misery pope francis in his apostolic exhortation joy of the gospel rise we are not called to accomplish epic feats or to pro- proclaim high sounding words but to give witness to the joy that arises from the certainty of knowing we are loved from the confidence that we are saved hence we march forward with new enthusiasm renewed faith and with much joy in our hearts because god loves us and the risen lord is always with us and at work in us may this silver event bring down showers of blessings upon all of us on all those whom we serve and on all the people we encounter may our lovable redeemer make us his true followers thank you and god bless every one of us i will not call the names of the dignitaries because i felt that all of you are friends close friends seeing this auspicious gathering i felt that all of you have become close friends of the sisters of charity so i say dear friends gratitude is the healthiest of all attitudes the more you express gratitude for what you have the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for therefore dear friends on this auspicious day willed and wished by god i here on behalf of our provincial superior sister rosy kutina the council and all the sisters of our province to express my sentiments of gratitude for today's celebration my heart resounds in gratitude and it overflows with joy and melodious notes of loveliness at the thought that our province darwar province has strenuously tread 25 years of journey under the shadow of god's love firstly i bow my head in gratitude to god almighty and before each one of you who made this day a touchstone memory for all of us sisters of darwar province we thank god for the basket of blessings that has surprised us with its rich diversity of gifts and its opportunities provided for growth we express our sincere and profound gratitude to your eminence cardinal oswald gracious the archbishop of bombay in accordance with your surname gracious we can truly say you have been very very gracious in giving heed to our invitation in spite of your busy schedule and energized us uh, spiritually with your thought provoking and inspiring homily a great grateful thanks to your eminence we thank our bishop derek fernandez the shepherd of our diocese of belgaum ever ready battery with his availability <laughs> generosity and support at all times thank you we say a heartfelt thanks to reverend bishops robert miranda henry de souza and francis sarau the guiding shepherds in the diocese of gulbarga belari and simachimoga where our sisters serve you have proved your sincere love and appreciation for us and for our mission in your diocese by your very presence here with us today thank you we say we also love you are you sure that we love you yes we also love you and assure you our prayers 
and our collaboration in the evangelizing mission of the church. We remain grateful to our dear Superior General, Mother Anna Maria Viganò, and her four Assistant General for being the touch, torch bearers in every sphere of our religious life while walking with us on the path of charity in the replanning process at this juncture of our life. How can we forget our two dear provinces of Sikandrabad and Manglo from whom has emerged this dear province of Darwar? A sincere and heartfelt thanks to you dear sisters, Sister Irene Menezes, Sister Esther Joseph, Sister Philomena Thomas, and the sisters for your last representation on this special day. You have enhanced our joy with your loving and sub supportive presence. We really experience the bond of sisterliness as we have with us sisters who have come all the way from New Delhi and Southeast Indian provinces. Thanks to all the priest brothers present here, we appreciate very much your presence with us. Special thanks to our parish priest, Father Dennis Rodericks, Father Francis Fernandez S.J. and his community members of Vidya Niketan for your generous availability in reaching out to our spiritual needs and for your active involvement towards today's celebration. Gratefully, we express our thanks to the provincial superiors present here, Father Waldheim, OFM Cap, Sister Charlie, Bethany Sister, Sister Greta, Ursuline Sister, and the many sisters and fathers of Ugli Darwar Deanery, as well as from the places where our sisters serve. We express our thanks to all our benefactors and well-wishers. A special thanks to Mr. K. L. Patil, Mr. Usha, Mrs. Usha Joseph, Mr. Shambhu Lingappa, and Mrs. Davidi for man manifesting your care and concern for us by your very presence and reaching out in our needs. A profound thanks to Mr. Elvis, Miss Joyce, and the choir for your melodious singing, giving us a taste and a heavenly experience of God's presence in our midst. A note of gratitude to our students of both Shanti Sadan and the School of Nursing for adding color to this cultural evening. A special thanks and appreciation to the young ladies of our parish for your vibrant dance manifesting that you are very part of this joyful celebration. Last but not the least, I acknowledge with gratitude the presence of our friends, the auditors Ravi and Chinnapodlu, who have come along with our sisters from far and near communities and of course the members of our spiritual fraternity. Our gratitude goes also to Mr. Girish for managing the stage and sound system. Mr. Noor for the Shamyana arrangement and the Royal Kitchen Caterers for the festal meal. Very affectionate thanks to the staff of our school, the youth and all who have joined hands with us today to make our Silver Jubilee event an exquisite and memorable one. Once again, a hearty thanks to one and all. God bless you. We are an Easter octave. Peace is the Easter gift offered by the risen Lord. A dove is a symbol of peace and a new start. I now beckon Sister Teresita, Sister Vijaya, and Postulate Karishma, representing the three territories of our service, Karnataka, Goa, and Maharashtra, to release the dove. Vibration of peace to the world that longs for peace.
Jesus, you feasted with friends and found joy in those around you. Bless us and especially the Charity Sisters of Darwad Province as they celebrate their dedicated service to the church and humanity for the past 25 years. Pour forth your blessings upon them, renew and refresh them for your mission, making them effective and wise stewards of your bountiful gifts. Bless this food we are about to share, a sign of your goodness to us. Bless those who prepared it and who serve it and keep us ever mindful of those who go and hungry this night. May our meal and our celebration nourish our bodies and strengthen the bonds that unite us in love and faithful service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.